to the mind. Like I like it was said earlier, like cutting a diamond with a diamond only. So this the wonderful experience of awareness of the heart. We have to make use of the mind. Make use of the mind and dissolve it, and then merge into the heart, and then experience it. It can be also showed to help the mind in a visual manner. In the stage one, in the mind, if you put in the form of a circle, mind, thoughts and ego exist. In the mind, thoughts, ego, impression, all these things exist. Then we go step by step, but in the heart there is only feeling and emotions. It cannot be explained by any amount of words. In the stage 2, the mind exists with reduced thoughts and with reduced ego. So, in the first stage, the thoughts were innumerable, the thoughts were infinite, the ego was exuberant and too much. So, when we are doing this practice of awareness with the help of the mind, to make it understand its the real nature, then in the second stage, in the mind, the thoughts will get gradually minimized. In between the thoughts, we can observe that silence or that awareness of that feeling or that place. And also, you start gradually realizing that you of the I, the individual ego, which was initially too high, too egoistic, it comes to accept, comes to terms that I-ness and minus are the root cause for all the problems in the mind. So, it starts to temper down the I-ness and minus and the ego stops getting gradually reduced, it stops. At the same time, in the heart, the feeling and the emotion, you will be able to experience that and feel that without any thoughts or ego. This is the starting process. In the stage 3, gradually because of our previous contemplation of awareness with the help of the mind, the thoughts, the impressions and the ego gets totally dissolved, this is an ultimate stage, totally dissolved. And it's totally removed by accepting that that is not its real nature, that it is the delusion of the Maya. Thereby, the mind in totality gets dissolved into the heart by surrendering, by accepting without any resistance, realizing that that mind is not the reality and the heart is the one which is absolute reality that the God dwells. Having seen this in the stage, then we go to the stage four, that is only heart, only feelings and emotions, only heart, only feelings and emotions. The moment we reach this particular stage, we start 
the next stage that is in the heart it is filled with God that God only exists and it is filled with pure absolute love which is nothing but pure awareness there is no give and take there is no duality there is no thought there is there are no impressions there are no joys and sorrows there are no miseries excepting it is a pure blissful awareful state of love filled with love and love and love only that is why in narada bhakti sutra narada starts it narada bhakti sutra he starts in that particular uh, narada bhakti sutra the first shloka itself what is bhakti parama prema swarupa that means it is the supreme love it is the supreme love it is abundance of love it is full of love there is nothing other than love that is called that is why in the heart of the great master or in the lord in the god himself we can see we can feel nothing but total 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 love which is unconditional it is a blissful a grateful total love that love is so beautiful that it just comes out like in the form of a ripe but a totally ripe fruit the juice comes by itself even without pressing it that is how when you see any great master like shankaracharya ramakrishna or any any prophet jesus or mohammed prophet or any great sage let it be of any religion sector creed or anything they are totally full of love so when you go in the presence of them the beauty or the vibration of the love it just radiates from them whether you call physical body or heart or whatever you want to say it just radiates without even their knowledge because they don't know that they are they are, they are embodiments of love because their mind is already dissolved in the heart so that is why the awareness of the heart is held by the heart only and even the mind doesn't know that it is aware of that particular awareness of heart or the love that's the beauty of awareness of heart having gone through the awareness of the heart and mind 